And oh, uh oh, this just in. Hey, remember me? Still kicking around. Uh, not gonna show up at uh, ground zero today. I had one demand, it wasn't a big one. Just wanted a gold plated bullhorn to be handed to me by that uh, Obama. If I didn't get one, forget it. I'm not gonna go there. Didn't renew my passport. <laughs> I go to Jew York. So uh, George Bush will not be um, will not be attending. Will not be joining President Obama at uh, Ground Zero in New York City today. I guess to uh, mark the killing of Osama bin Laden. Sort of heinous in my estimation. Uh, but perhaps bringing some closure to those who lost people uh, at Ground Zero on September 11th. His spokesman said he appreciated the invite, speaking of George Bush, but has chosen in his post-presidency to remain largely out of the spotlight. I don't think so. I mean, except for the time where he's trying to sell a book. And, of course, in six months from now, when he heads less than six months, when he heads to 9-11, I am sure... For the 10th anniversary, celebrate the day that I spoke in a bullhorn and said, Osama bin Laden, I hope you can hear me now. We're coming to get you. Uh, I was speaking in, uh, I was speaking allegorically speaking. Maybe he planned that Obama would catch Osama bin Laden. That's right. This was all part of George Bush's plan. But apparently, it's not just that he's camera shy, ladies and gentlemen. The New York Daily News reports, and this is from Thomas DeFrank, who is uh, a longtime known, sort of have access to the, uh, to the Bushies. He declined because Obama hurt his fee-fee. He hurt his fee-fee. George W. Bush won't be at ground zero of President Obama on Thursday, in part because he feels his team is getting short shrift in the decade-long manhunt for Osama bin Laden. Quote, Bush viewed this as an Obama victory lap, a highly placed source told the Daily News Wednesday. Well, if, if George Bush is upset that he's not getting enough credit, well, why did he dis <laughs> turn down the invitation to join in that credit at ground zero? But Obama's claiming all the credit, and a lot of other people deserve it, the source added. My free feeds. My fee fees. Obama gave no credit whatsoever to the intelligence infrastructure the Bush administration set up that is being hailed from the left and right as setting in motion the operation that got bin Laden. It rubbed Bush the wrong way. Well, frankly, we know that the torture regime that George Bush put in place, the only information we got was the fake name of this courier. We also know that George Bush, sometime in 2005, right around the time that they were building this compound for Osama bin Laden in Pakistan, shut down the CIA unit that for 10 years up to that point, started by Bill Clinton, was looking for Osama bin Laden. And in fact, I also believe he said something to the effect of, I'm not that concerned about him anymore. I don't think about him. Or perhaps he was just throwing us all off the scent. I'm not going to go down there unless uh, I want a golden bullhorn. I want a golden bullhorn, and I want it maybe also with like a pretzel on the side. <laughs> George, where are you? Oh, I'm in my uh, study. I'm in my study with my golden bullhorn. Not uh, maybe just about to choke on a uh, <coughs> pretzel as it were. So that'll be it, uh, folks. We won't see George Bush until he comes out and preens in September. Let's celebrate the real anniversary, the day I spoke in a bullhorn. I guarantee you someone's going to give him a bullhorn on that day. I, gu I guarantee, I will bet my life on it. If he hasn't already received one, he will get one on that day. <laughs>